Jack Keys, ladies and gentlemen. That was great, brother. Thank you for doing that Thank for you. us. Um, so, Jack, got a couple questions for you. You are, if you guys don't know, Jack now lives here in D.C. Made the right choice on where to spend your time at. I'm now. a local. Yes, yes. The DMV's own Jack Case. Where uh, it was Cincinnati. You were born in, right? Yeah. Or what, no, I was born in Toledo. But born in Toledo. Most okay. Of my life in Cincinnati. Then came down here. What got you here? Um, my girlfriend was going to school here at GW. Okay. GW. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Hell yeah, it is. <laughs> um, yeah, and I was like. Just uh, starting to make music work out for me, so I didn't have to be in Cincinnati. And I was like, oh, I'll just follow you there. Easy peasy. Yeah, easy. Yeah, easy decision now. And now we stayed because we like it so much. It's a pretty cool place. Well, yeah. we, we like having you here. We'll have to have <laughs> you up to the radio station more, too. Thanks for having me. Um, you, uh, your other new song that just came out a couple weeks ago, The Voice in My Head. Yeah. I like the fact that you debuted it on your Instagram on the toilet. That was a pretty <laughs> funny video. Yeah. And you made your own applause. You flushed it right behind. Now, will you do the same for highlight reels? Will you do that? Will it be the Jack K's on the bowl series for you know, new songs? I like to this could always, be a thing. This could be your thing. I like to do something that grabs people's attention. And certainly I certainly like did. Really bored of just like sitting in front of my camera playing the guitar. I don't know if anybody's here seen the video, but I'm like sitting on the toilet with my pants down playing the guitar. Um, it's pretty ridiculous. And I was like, Looking at my bathroom, I was like, man, that might grab people's attention. So I just did it there. <laughs> it certainly does. You guys watch it on Jack's Instagram. It's really <laughs> funny. Do you ever do you ever look on your YouTube videos and read the comments on things? Because I was looking at some of them last night and I I saw one guy say that hearing you made him want to make music again, oh, wow. um, that your stuff is emotional and so relatable. It it makes me feel not so alone. I don't know if you get to read that, man, but seeing that stuff for me, it would just be like, wow, this, this is why I really want to do this. Yeah, no, for sure. I normally, it's more, I don't really read the comments that much, but I am like very active in my like direct messages and I'll talk to people for like hours on end. Um, I don't know. I think it's beautiful. That's like the whole, um, point of doing something like this, I think. Yeah. Plus the fact that you know, watching you when uh, I saw videos from when you played at Songbird a while back and all these other shows. When I saw you in Philly last summer, yeah, people singing your music back to you has got to be mind blowing. It's too. the coolest thing in the world. Yeah. Like these are my words, my emotions, but everyone is singing them back to me with their own interpretation too. Yeah, and we're yeah, in yeah. this together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially when they're, um, when they're songs that are more metaphorical and like everybody can kind of relate their own situation to it. I think it's really cool. Yeah, absolutely. Um, this summer, you're going to head out all through June. It's the whole month with yeah. Grandson and K-Flight. Pretty awesome tour you got to get on. How'd that happen? Um, you know, Grandson and I have been talking for like months. And uh, man, I honestly don't even know. We were like, we were already kind of homies and then mm -hmm. it just worked out that way. That's awesome. I like awesome. to do stuff like that. Like I don't want to like make it all industry and have this person reach out to this person and you know it feels so authentic when mm -hmm. it's like me and my friends yeah when it's people that you actually know and you get to hang out on tour during exactly the summer. unfortunately now i do have to ask you this why no dc show i just like I they're skipping us like come on i'm we're glad you're here work out like that okay but also i really want to make my next dc show like a headline um, Your DC show. Yeah, my DC show. Yeah, not like, no, not that it wouldn't be great. But half an hour at Merriweather and then. Yeah, exactly. Like, we're I moving do on. A 90, I like doing a 90 minute set on mm -hmm. my headlines, and I really want to, like, the next time I play DC, which will hopefully be soon, but um, I really want to do it. Big set, big stage, kind of do it my way. It'll be coming at some point, though. Yeah, exactly. For sure. Um, besides music, Jack, uh, cooking. You. Went to culinary school for a yeah. while, and you worked in a lot of restaurants and everything. What is the Jack K's culinary special? What do you like to cook up? What are some of your favorites? Oh, man. I don't know. I'm not like a... I'm a creature of habit. Like, I'll make the same thing over and over again, but my girlfriend hates repeat meals. Um, so she, like, will write up a meal at the beginning, of, or a menu at the beginning of every week, and we'll grocery shop for the menu. Every week, different every menu. Week, every oh, week, that's cool. Menu. That's really cool. Yeah, so I don't get to repeat a lot of stuff, but I guess it kind of challenges me as a cook. And, you know, we get to eat a lot of really good food. So when everyone here has to think about your meals for the week, remember, Jack does it for him, his lady, and a whole new menu every week. So <laughs> we got to go to your house and get some food or something. <laughs> now, um, I'm assuming, you you know, D.C. is a big food town, too. Yeah. As someone that loves cooking, I'm going to ask you, where are some of your favorite places around to eat at? Uh, 
Man, I love uh, D City Smokehouse on Florida. I love Kochicks on Florida. Like the best. I'm a really big fried chicken guy. Okay. Um, like I'll put that shit down. <laughs> um, and Korean fried chicken has to be like the best fried chicken out here. Um, I don't know. Like super random. I was like, I had a milkshake at the Silver Diner like a week ago. Silver Diner milkshakes are A+. plus. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah. I was like, I was shocked. Also, I think like the vibe of a restaurant is just as important as the food. And they, they got it down there. Yeah. They I got a, they got a Waffle cool thing. Waffle House is another very important spot in D.C. Um, last thing I'll ask you, Jack. Um, you got your family here. They came in. And yeah. it, it's cool that it worked out. They got to come and see you here at D.C. 101. What have you been taking them around to do? What's like, what's touristy Jack K is going to show us in D.C.? Um. I have this um, I have this theory that everybody's perception of D.C. is like their eighth grade history class trip. And I think it's so sad because people will be like, man, why do you live in D.C.? Like, why don't you move to New York or L.A.? And I'm like, dude, D.C. is an amazing city. And um, the touristic scope of it, like, barely grazes the surface. So obviously we did, like, we did the museums. We saw the Lincoln. We saw the Washington. But I also took them to the Jefferson because I think that's a really slept on monument. Mm-hmm. And then um, we did like the Georgetown Flea, uh, which is something that I do every week. We did the DuPont Farmer's Market. Um, we ate at all my favorite spots. I have a rooftop, so we grilled up there one time. We just like, you know, I just tried to make sure that we're not only doing like monuments and museums. Yeah, here could Washington Monument. Yeah, exactly. Like, which is know, awesome. Don't get me wrong. It's amazing, but it's like, you know, you can, you can do the stuff that matters in a day, but the stuff that's like that you get as a local here could, I mean, I haven't even grazed the surface of it and I've lived here for like three years now. Mm -hmm. The real DC. seeing All of it that it has to offer. Well, 14th street, U street. Exactly. We went to Eastern market. All of it. Eastern market is incredible. Oh, I should have taken you guys there. You still got time. Yeah. Eastern market, union market school. Yeah. We went to union market. That's right by my house. So we got to do that. We spent the whole day there. Yeah. It's awesome. Plenty of stuff going on all over. Well, you guys will have to come back and guys give it up for Jack Kays, please. This was a lot of fun. Thanks for having me. um, I know you're working on music. When, when can we get, when can we expect the next batch to come out? EP album, whatever it is. I'm doing singles all year. We're trying to go every month. Okay. Um, so I did one in February. I dropped a single on SoundCloud in March, and we're coming with one in April. Okay, cool. Well, we'll just keep watching out, and next one you give us, I'll play it on DC 101 for you. Thank Deal? You. Hell yeah. Deal. That's awesome. I like it. Guys, Jack Kays, thank you. Thank you, guys. Jack, thanks, brother. It's a lot of fun. Thank you, man.